Hey there, Scorpio. This is Kim. So here is your reading for your last week in September, beginning of October. Um, thanks for joining me. Thanks for like, shares, comments, and subscribes. Let's get into this. The Witch's Oracle. No, this isn't the Witch's Oracle. Sorry, this is the Soul's Journey. I'll do the Witch's Oracle after this. The Soul's Journey. <laughs> Come on, in your spirit guides, angels, higher self. To get messages for Scorpio. We have freedom and fear. Freedom and fear. I possess uh, 50, or freedom is, I possess the power and the free will to create my own happiness. Um, fear says, I realize I am testing my resolve to live in the energy of love. I realize that I am testing my resolve to live in the energy of love. Okay. And this one is, which is Oracle. For Scorpios. Last week in September, beginning of October. Uh, wizard, 39. Spiritual impeccability. Spiritual impeccability. Really good. It looks like at creation. You know, there's the spiral manifestation really good at manifesting. There's um, lots of things being illuminated here. A lot of the signs, um, a, a lot of the elements. Um, 39, wizard. Spiritual and impeccability, the vibration of the spirit. Self-importance, impeccability, egotism. Wizard is a Middle English word originating from the root wise or whiz. A wizard carries spiritual and magical powers with the ability to influence the energy by enchantment, occult knowledge, or sorcery. Wizard is not a masculine name for a witch. Witches can be male or, or female, although a wizard is always a man. Okay. The wizard card means you have the potential to become part of a charismatic influence right now. It says actions taken now will yield powerful results. Actions taken now will yield powerful results. All right, Scorpio. Celtic Cross General Spread for Scorpio. What is the issue or the situation? And I have something about fear. Ten of Cups. So fear is stopping you from getting your Ten of Cups, which is the emotional happiness and fulfillment. So fear is getting in the way of your Ten of Cups. Challenge. What's the challenge? Which we already know. It's fear. Yeah. Postponing making a decision or choosing a side because of not seeing a peaceful resolution or peaceful outcome here. Um, fear. She's kind of enshrouded in fear. At the root of this. At the root of this. the three of swords past heartache so basing things on um, past experience or maybe it could be even current emotional uh, heartache pain loss past energy 
Empress in reverse. This could be like um unhealthy or no no real good not really a good relationship with like a mother or uh, the one who were trying to make something come to life that didn't manifest I don't know something something that didn't work out in the past the now moment the now moment possibly being really harsh or critical of others it definitely judgmental of self um, possibly calling off something that was announced indecision indecision the near future energy two of cups which is happiness commitment it could represent the true love card two two of cups or maybe gemini how do you feel Maybe you don't know how you feel. Maybe you don't know how you feel. Maybe it's that. Or um, Scorpio. How do they feel? The hanged man. Like you've sacrificed a lot. Like you're the one still hanging in there. The hangman, self-sacrifice, a lot of self-sacrifice, feeling like, but I'm here, I'm the one that's here with this hanged man. Let me scoot these over so that we can actually see them, so you can see the hanged man. There. Yeah. I'm waiting, a waiting period. Maybe that's why. Maybe something's hard to forgive and there's like a waiting period or it feels like you can't let go right away. I don't know. Situation around. Probably need to trust your intuition. High priestess. Page of swords, gossip, or, or or like communication that's a little harsh. It can be that. We're talking just right about the information. Could be a child, Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius. Or childlike energy. So that's <clears throat> in the environment, harsh judgment from others. Hopes or fears in the hopes or fears. The three of pentacles. The seven of cups. Probably hoping that you have support and cooperation from others. Working well with others. Three of pentacles. Laying down the groundwork. Three, three. To repair something. Maybe to mend something that the heart was broken about before. The seven of cups could be a fear um, if you had attachments that left you cloudy headed or gave, you know, made your judgment a little off. <clears throat> so that could be a fear too, or fear of what to, what to choose, like fear commitment because of choosing the wrong one or something like that too. Okay, the outcome. Scorpio, the outcome, the eight of wands. Good news. 
So maybe this news isn't so harsh. Maybe it's just delayed news regarding people working together. I mean, this could this is good news usually. Whatever it is, it moves you forward or helps move you forward. It may be something that strikes you like a Cupid's arrow. Sometimes that's that um, card, but that is good news coming to you. So that's good. So let me get another um let me get another oracle card and we'll see what's going on the, with the oracle. So this is because maybe it'll give us some more information. This is the inner child oracle from Etsy and I'll pull one from this and then one from the modern goddess oracle too. Or Scorpios. We're going to do it like that. And there's two. Flow with the rhythm. For your body is a wonderful thing filled with light and love for you. Create a space today to move in tune with your body, finding a place where you can be alone in silence or with instrumental music and let your body flow on what it desires. Get lost in your rhythms and release any notion of how you can or should move or how it should be should appear. And that looks like it's part of that. Ah, <sighs> breathe in. Our breath responds to what we are feeling, experiencing throughout our day. Practice taking deep, full breaths at normal pace. And once you have rhythm, breathe at this pace as you go about your day, checking in on yourself periodically. Deep breathing can help navigate stressful events and bring relaxation and peace. Okay, and a modern, modern goddess oracle. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And we'll take them. There's just two. Right, we have Bast and the Mystic. Bast and the Mystic. So I'll put it here while I look it up in the book. Bast is protection. Cats, Eye of Horus, perfume bottles, the Sphinx, and the affirmation is I am protected by the divine and by the beings of light always and the mystic the mystic is Okay, sorry that took me so long. It is awareness, crystal ball, incense, belladonna. I'm aware of my feelings, thoughts, and actions at all types. It's a level of keen self-awareness. So, all right, that's what I've got for you. Thanks so much, Scorpio. Sending you love and light. Bye.